Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Thank you for listening and being a part of Seeking the Kingdom podcast. This is where we discuss biblical topics. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Saturday morning. We pray that by listening to these podcast teachings, your faith would increase and that we would grow together as one in the body of Christ. God bless. Praise the Lord and praise God. God bless you for listening to this episode of Seeking the Kingdom podcast. Tonight's episode is 110, titled, Good Trees Bear Good Fruit. For the glory of God, I want to uh, thank my brothers, uh, uh, Deacon Vinny. Uh, God bless you. Deacon Donnie, God bless you. You guys did an awesome job last week for the glory of God, talking about self-control. Um, listen, I, 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 we was astonished by the points uh, that you guys were giving. And for the glory of God, you guys did a, an awesome job. Uh, and I want to welcome you guys back to the program this week uh, to conclude our series on the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, and tonight's message, like I said, is called Good Trees Bear Good Fruit. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. But to open up tonight's program, uh, Deacon uh, Vinny, would you please uh, open up the program in prayer? Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mordel, thank you, God, for this opportunity, Devla. Thank you, Devla, because, Devla, you allowed us to be in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and mercy. Mordel, as we start the podcast, as we get into the word, as we get into the scriptures, as we get into your presence, God, take over. Devla, I thank you, Lord, Mordel, for Josh. I thank you for the men. I thank you, Devla, for the podcast. And I pray, God, that your power be shown today. Use Devla, your servant, Akana, Devla. I pray that you anoint him as he teaches the word on how important it is to bear fruit as a believer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you, uh, Deacon. God bless uh, you too. So to I'll open up tonight's program, I just want to give a quick introduction. Um, uh, since the past two months, Penny, uh, Deacon Donnie, we've been talking about uh, the fruit of the Spirit. And uh, guys, I must admit, I had none of these attributes. Uh, hey. I thought I did. Uh, but the more I looked into the Word, I realized I knew nothing. Oh, John Snow, you know nothing, John Snow. Uh, <laughs> But I thank God for everyone who was a part of the Fruit of the Spirit series. Uh, Pastor Matthew Martin from Armor of God Ministry. Uh, our brother Barry from uh, uh, a Christian Romany Church in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Pastor Steve Sturgo. And of course, our brothers uh, Deacon Vinnie Du and, and Donnie from uh, In His Presence Ministry in Staten Island, New York. God bless you guys. You guys did an awesome job. Um, and I thank uh, God, our father, for the opportunity to be in ministry with these men. Why? Because uh, as Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. And after Amen. I realized I had none of these attributes, I started to look into the topic uh, for tonight, which is good tree, uh, good trees bear good fruit. Um, a, few, a few weeks ago back, uh, Pastor Ronnie, uh, said something in church and it got stuck with me. Uh, he talked about taking the Lord's name in vain. Deacon Don, are you listening to this? He's talking about taking the Lord's name in vain. And uh, automatically, when we hear that Ivano, take the Lord's name in vain, automatically we think uh, uh, swearing by God's name or uh, cursing in God's name or just saying his name V and Dino. Okay. But he said something. He said, what if taking the Lord's name in vain is calling yourself a Christian and you're being a false witness? I just want to let that sit for a second. And it got stuck with me. Really good. Okay. We're called to be imitators of Christ. We're not called to be false witnesses for Christ. We're called to be imitators of Christ. Uh, so as we learn uh, since the past two months, the fruit of the Spirit are attributes of God. Okay, They are his very own characteristics. If we are called to be imitators of Christ, as it says in Ephesians 5.1, then we're called to have these in our life. Galatians 5.22 tells us what are these attributes. Okay, Here are the attributes. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, 
faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If we are confessed believers and not professed believers, I learned that from my boy John Zaro when I was at the retreat. If we're not professed believers, then it's time to walk in the spirit and let the spirit grow the fruit of the spirit in our lives. Uh, so that's being so that being said, let's get into it. Uh, please get your Bibles and turn with us to uh, Matthew 7, 16 through 20. Look what it says. You will know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. So this scripture, uh, Deacon Vinny, Deacon Donnie, Whitey Christopher, it got me to think, okay, what type of tree am I? Am I bearing false witness? Do I call myself a Christian but have unforgiveness in my heart? Do I call myself a Christian but have a lustful eye? Or am I bearing good fruit for the kingdom of God by showing the love of Christ? Or but having uh, self-control with others? We cannot produce this fruit on our own because of the fall of man, Adam and Eve, we were all born of darkness. And by our human nature, we are to bear bad fruit. But thank you, Jesus, because we are now in light. Look what it says in Ephesians uh, 5, 8 through 11. For you once were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth finding out what it is acceptable to the lord and having no fellowship get this guys have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness but rather expose them so Vinny, we're called to be the light for the kingdom why are we still dealing with unfruitful works of darkness why am I still showing hate to my brothers? Why do I still tell obscene stories? The Bible clearly tells us, Deacon Donnie, to stop telling obscene talk, obscene stories. Why do we have to have foolish talk with our friends? That's showing darkness. That's not showing light. We should get rid of all these things. Paul says in the Corinthians, get rid of all these things. Yeah. So these things are unfruitful. And we should expose them, nine. Very good. Okay, I know we're I know we're going fast, but uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of scriptures. Mark eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look what it says. The next morning, mm -hmm. as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off. I want you guys to catch that. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off. So he went over to see if he can find any figs. But there were only leaves because it was too early in season for fruit. So here's the problem. This tree was deceiving. This tree, Donnie, shouldn't have full leaves without having fruit. I looked into this. The, the fig tree, when it produced leaves... It should have been full of fruit. If it didn't have any leaves, it shouldn't have any fruit. But where right. Jesus seen the leaves on the tree, he said, let me go see if there's any fruit on it. Right? Okay. Yeah. So he it was expected to have fruit. Look what David Guzek said. Okay. Essentially, this tree was a picture of false advertising. Having uh -huh. leaves, but no figs. Well. Okay. So it got me to question. As Christians, we have to ask ourselves, am I a deceitful Christian? If, okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, am I a professed Christian? Am I, am I not a confessed Christian? Am I able to show kindness and, and be gentle with others? 
or show any of the fruit of the spirit for that matter so truly ask yourself this question because i did and i came up with the conclusion i came up when i asked myself this question i came up with the answer no i couldn't have show any of these fruits and if you were like me and the answer is no i can't show any of these fruit please turn with me and listen to this beautiful parable that jesus gives in luke uh, uh 13 6 true 9 okay look what jesus says and he told them this parable a man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and he came seeking fruit on it and found none and he said to the vine dresser look for three years now i have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and i found none cut it down why should it use up the ground and he answered him sir let it alone this year also until i dig around it and put manure on it then if it shall bear fruit next year well and good but if not you could cut it down so guys after reading that i thought of god's grace and his mercy we Thanks. serve a god who's rich in grace and full of mercy Thanks. he's given us a chance to bear fruit from him let's Amen. not take this opportunity for granted let's show this dark world love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control look what it says in john 15 5 yes i am divine you are the branches those who remain in me and i in them will produce much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing so let's stay in jesus divine and produce these fruit for the kingdom of god but if you're not in the vine we want to give you the opportunity now to become part of the family of god we're going to give the mic to pastor ronnie now to say a few words and to give the sinner's prayer look what it says in romans 10 9 true 10. if you openly declare that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with god and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved amen pastor ronnie the mic is all yours well god bless you josh and i want to say a big god bless you to all of the pastors and men of god in the ministry uh, the kgm staff that participated in uh, the the sharing of this message and the, the explaining it such a beautiful job so often in the ministry joshua what we hear from people is the concern about the penalty of their actions and this is what i mean well if i did this will i lose this if i behave this way will i not go here or will i end up here hey. and it's so it's so good to understand that at the end of five in this message verse 23 says there is no law against these things and what things is he talking about he's talking about developing these fruit walking in the spirit amen and and we know that law brings condemnation law brings judgment and the person or manus that is walking in the spirit developing these fruit there's no law against that there's amen. no judgment or condemnation that awaits that person but joshua you cannot walk in the spirit or develop these fruit unless you know who they come from and unless you have a relationship with the person that they come from amen so so on behalf of all of the pastors and all of the men that participated in this beautiful message we want to give an invitation to truly know to truly come to a relationship with jesus christ so we can walk in the spirit and develop these fruit and we're going to give a prayer and I'm going to ask that if this is the desire of the persons that are listening, that they not only would say the words, because it's not about magical words, it's about what's behind the words. Are you truly believing what you're saying? And if you truly are believing what you're saying, then the next thing you can experience 
is developing these fruit as you walk in the spirit. Amen. So pinen pala pinen pala mande, say these words, and it's just like you said and read in 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 Romans that when we confess and when we believe, then we truly are saved. Father God, today I confess that I've sinned against you, and I'm sorry for that. In the same way, I confess that Jesus is your Son, and that He died for me to deliver me from debt, sin, and the grave, and condemnation, and judgment. And I believe that on the third day He rose to life to bring victory over all of that. Today, I ask, come into my life, Jesus. Save me. Make me. Your child, I make you my Lord and Savior over my life. Today, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and I believe that I'm born again. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Josh, you, Joshua, Omanus had prayed that prayer with their heart, with their soul, can expect now to walk in the spirit develop those fruit and will not have to worry about judgment or condemnation because against these things there is no law amen god bless you god bless you too uh pastor ronnie we want to open up the mic now uh and hear what the boys had to say about the message uh, uh deacon donnie what's your thoughts about this uh the first thing that came to me after that and glory to god you did an awesome job god's great, glory uh, amen great uh, scripture selection uh, very clear uh, Amen. the most important thing that are we just green are we just leafy are we just looking good uh Bodivano, if i was in church and i have the bible and i got the suit and i'm ready to rock and i got the pin and i'm i got the pencil in the pocket i got Bota. everything you need and more and you'll come up to me and you're looking for a word you're looking for prayer you're looking for something of the man of God, but I have nothing to offer you. Am I just a tree that looked it good, or would you find no fruit in me? I, uh, Jerry uh, typed something. Uh, looks good, looks green, but with no substance. Nothing I, there. What the? Nothing there. To, nothing there to feed off of. Uh, are we literally just giving people leaves, or are we giving them chacho fruit? As Amen. Christian? Amen. And it's a very good point because let me tell you why. A fruit does not eat of his own tree. It does not yeah. gain nutrition from its own fruit, right? Right. The fruit is for others, right? Uh, Deacon Donnie, your fruit that you bear are for it's me for to you. come pick off and eat, right? So if there's no fruit bearing on me, Penafi Mandi, if there's no fruit bearing on me, how can I be, uh, 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 you know, any good to anybody? Uh, Vinny, what do you have to think about that? The most important thing that God requires of us is to bear fruit. Bearing fruit is showing people who he is because it's not, it's not our fruit that's being bared. It's the fruit of the spirit. And the Bible teaches us that the spirit gives life. The spirit gives eternal life. The spirit brings peace and in Christ is salvation. And when we show the world the fruit of the Spirit, we're showing people Jesus. So if we go around saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a born-again believer, I'm, I'm a son of God, and we're not following up with it, there's an issue. Mm. Now look what it says here. There's a quote that Charles Spurgeon said. Ready? Come on. You are justified by faith, not by feelings. Mm. See, people can have the feeling that they're a Christian. Right. But what makes you a Christian is by faith. And once you have faith, that fruit is going to be bared. Shada. When you have faith, very rare, you're going to have just leaves. There's mm. going to be some fruit. Yeah. Maybe not a bunch of it. Maybe not full grown. But it will be barren. And then enough. like Jesus said, it, it, there'll be enough. And like Jesus said, uh, guys, when we bear fruit, he is the vine dresser. He'll prune us mm. that we bear more. Amen. So the guy that's listening right now to the man and woman 
if you feel you're not living up to the standards of as a Christian uh, that you're supposed to, ask God to help you to bear that fruit. Amen. Amen. And he will. He will. He will. Sure he will. Because it's Amen. for because it brings him glory. Amen. The, when you bear fruit, I know I'm over talking. No, go ahead. When you bear fruit, man gets no glory. And if that man is seeking glory, then it's a false fruit. Shut up. If a man is seeking glory for himself, I'm going to show people love because uh, I want people to know that I'm a Christian, then it's an error. It's right. I want to show love because Jesus loved me. I want to love others. Amen. I want to show kindness because Jesus was kind to me on the cross. I want to have self-control because that's how Christ was. So now, if you have the desire to bear fruit because you want to show people you're somebody, the Bible shows us that man is nothing. God is everything. Amen. Amen. Uh, real quick, John 15, 5 again. Yes, I am divine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. Uh, without Jesus, there's no love. Without Jesus, right. there's no kindness. There's no peace. There's no self-control. There's not, we can't, we can't get that. It's right. only through him that we're able to produce these fruit uh, by walking in the spirit. Uh, you guys read last week, Galatians uh, 5, 17. We must walk in the spirit. We must walk in the spirit in order Simple. to obtain these fruits. Simple. Uh, Simple. Christopher, Christopher, have anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, God bless you, uh, Deacon Vinny, Deacon, uh, Deacon Donnie. Uh, great input. Joshua, great study. Before God's glory. Um, really good. I got a couple of uh, scriptures here. So Ephesians uh, 4.23. And the context of it is uh, saying, throw off your old self. Uh, this is what it says. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on the new nature created to be like God, truly mm -hmm. righteous and holy. Right? Mm -hmm. So thanks to Jesus. Our minds need to be uh, renewed. Amen. No longer thinking as the old. God has produced something in our lives to, to bear fruit, to show people Christ. This is what the Bible says in uh, Ephesians 5. I believe it's verse 2. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. So Hallelujah. if I have to follow Christ's example to be uh, fruitful and to show love and compassion, and he also, sa he also uh, showed himself as a sacri sacrifice for us. Perfect. That's an example for us to say, Devil, there's things in my life that I have to sacrifice. The, Very good. The low language, the, the anger, the bitterness, the not being patient, not having self-control. Devil, I don't want these things, so I give them to you. I can't handle them. I, I take them away. I want to follow the example that you left and that your spirit renews us as believers, our minds, to follow you and to show the world that we're followers of you. Amen. Amen. Good point. Praise the Lord. Right. Really good. Whitey. You have anything you want to add? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I want to say wholeheartedly, <coughs> uh, I'm in. I'm in the presence of good trees here. That's glory. I know. I know this because Joshua you gave a wonderful message, a Holy Spirit led message. That's glory. Uh, my brother. It gave a wonderful comment on that message, a spirit-led comment on that message. Deacon Donnie and Vinny do, I mean, Deacon Donnie preached last time uh, on, on our podcast and, and showed me something, uh, two guys you would never expect, Zacchaeus and uh, the rich young ruler. That has to be spirit-led. That has to come from God. How do you connect those dots? Oh, well, Vinny, last uh, uh, podcast, last week, uh, putting scriptures together that don't come to the mind natural, and yet God ties it all together in these men. That's good trees. I know that these are good trees because it, it, they're not doing anything to get a wow factor. They're not doing anything to, to promote themselves. These men just believe. God's glory. Really, really Hallelujah. strongly. Glory to God. And that's what makes you a good tree. That it's very clearly said in the, the good trees come from good soil. And the good soil is shown in the Bible. 
it, it, good soil takes in the seed and bad soil rejects it. Yeah. Joshua, I'm going to school you. Uh, my uh, my cousin Joshua was a little afraid uh, because of the, this message is a little harsh. This message right. is a little offensive. So Joshua has been getting people to pray for him all this time. You know why? Because it's time to uh, come to the crossroads. It's time to get real about this situation. Because if we really want to grow, if we really want to be who we're meant to be, and that's what it's going to take. We got to make a decision today. Let's be who we're meant to be. The spirit is calling us towards growth. The spirit is calling us towards change. The spirit is calling us to grow love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, uh, uh, gentleness, self-control. These things are holy attributes that are going to make you wind up looking like Jesus Christ at the end of your existence. Amen. That's who you're meant to be. Amen. To reject that is evil. To reject right. that is wrong. And that's who you were called away from. So Sorry. being that, that that's the, what the God is trying to speak through the podcast, through four different men who were here with me tonight, saying the same message, I think it's time to listen up. Amen. Hallelujah. It's Amen. time to apply these things to our lives, to look at the fruits of the Spirit in a different way and say, I don't want to just be, okay, this is what I should do. This is what the Bible says I should do. So I'll just try. No, let's believe. Amen. Let's believe Amen. that these things are right and good and pl apply them to our lives and seek the Holy Spirit to take control in our lives, to seek more of the Spirit and more of the Spirit's growth. Vinny, you have something uh, Whitey, I have to comment on what you're saying, and I'm going to do it with Scripture. Ready? This is Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight, meaning pleasure, is in the law of the Lord, the Bible. And on the law, the Bible, he meditates day and night. And right. what is what what's what happens when he meditates on the law? What happens when he meditates on the word of God and his delight is the word of God? This is it. Ready? He is like a tree planted by streams of water Amen. that yields its fruit in season and its leaf does not wither in all that he does he prospers amen and i want to continue i want to continue josh don't cut me off I no know come on come on don't cut me off that's <laughs> the takeover we said this already uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, wait, NWO. the wicked are not so but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Listen to this. I'm at the shop working and it's a fall day. It's like the weather now, like October. And while I'm working, the doors open, the boys are loading a job and I'm at the table and a leaf came in and it flew on the table. And I'm looking at it and it's the leaf looks perfect. Like it's a perfect shape. Like, let me tell you the leaf. Remember Super Mario? Uh, two, <laughs> two or three. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was three. That leaf is on the table. Chase cut. Mommy. <laughs> when I go pick it up, guys, I can't tell you what happened to it. It disintegrated. Show that. Like it oh. like it got snapped. I know I sound like a nerd. <laughs> but imagine oh the uh, uh, end game. Not end game. It was a Finney war. Like it disappeared. And the scripture made so much sense to me. It says it withered away. I see what it means when a leaf withers. Show that. It it disintegrated. So the Bible tells us, as believers, we need to be planted by the streams of water, which is the Word of God. And now, a tree that's planted by water doesn't rely on the sun, doesn't rely on rain, doesn't rely on weather. Because um, our trees here, it has to go through its seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall. And they, the trees go through the seasons. But here, when the tree is planted in the water, all year round it's getting fed. All year round, it's bearing fruit. Why? Because it's near the water. The roots is down in the water. Amen. Well, us believers, Whitey, our roots need to be in the Word of God. Our roots need to be in the Scriptures. Our roots need to be in God Himself. And because of that, we're going to bear fruit. We're going to show people Jesus' love. 
We're going to show Hallelujah. people kindness. We're going to have patience. We're going to have goodness. We're going to have self-control. Right. We're going to have meekness. We're going to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit through the word of God because he is the real. living water. That's My brothers real. and sisters, like Whitey gave the warning, it's time to listen. No more playing around. No more being a tree that just leaves. Right. No more just being a tree that's not bearing fruit. It's getting people nowhere. It's hurting you and it's hurting well, others. Stop it. Get into the Word of God. Let the fruit of the Spirit bear in your life. And it don't just benefit you. It benefits others. And I promise oh, I'm not yeah. talking about Amen. No more. I'm, Amen. I'm zipping up. <laughs> and, uh, and listen. <laughs> and listen. <laughs> That concludes, that's a great way to conclude this series because it, it ends perfectly what I'm about to say right now. Just as Jesus gave this parable, guys, okay, there may be somebody thinking right now, it's too late. I'm the, I don't have a chance. No, you have a chance. He gave you this opportunity to, to change. He gave you, it says it clearly in his word, this year, this year, we still got what, a couple months left in this year? Okay, this yeah. year start right now okay get in your word get in prayer uh start the fast start to walk in the spirit and start bearing fruit for the kingdom Hallelujah. let's Amen. end tonight's program uh in prayer uh like every week we want to pray for the autism list we want to pray for uh sali glati guy nastin den duma a speech delay uh, we want to pray for uh, Sali Manus Kaisan, there will be a uh, prison, that God would set the captive free in Jesus' name, that God would give them favor, Vinny, uh, in front of the judges. God would give them favor with lawyers in Jesus' name. We want to pray for all the people who are in hospitals dealing with all type of sicknesses and diseases, that God would heal them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. We want to sp uh, pray specifically for our brother, Steve Churon, that God would heal him uh, from kidney problems and from Anthony Governors, that God would heal him in Jesus' name. Uh, we want to yeah. pray for uh, all the people on the Hannah's list, uh, that God would bless them with children in Jesus' name. I know what it is to cry myself to sleep at night, uh, not having a family. Vinny, you know what it is to do the same. Yes, but I we're do. here yes, today to tell you that God is real and he's a God who answers Hallelujah. prayers. Um, Amen. And we want to pray for uh, uh, that these fruit, we've been talking since two months about this fruit, okay? I want to pray that these fruit would be evident in our life. And Sapina, or scripture, that we wouldn't just be full of leaves, calling soul so-called christians yeah. but that we would be able to grow these fruit in jesus name uh deacon donnie can you please close us out in prayer and pray for these requests let's go Hallelujah. before the lord heavenly father we thank you for the opportunity to read your word Mugodab. we thank you for the opportunity Mugodab, to read father god about what you have in store for us lord Deva. lord i thank you father god about for this podcast Mugodil. I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, Deva, that this podcast will continue to bear much fruit, Lord. I pray, Father God, for Josh, for Chris, for Whitey, for Deacon Vinny, and myself, Mugodadala, that, Lord, that we would be, Father God, like a city on a hilltop, Mugodil. Whoever's listening, Father God, any servant, Father God, from any church, any Christian, Mugodad, let them be, Father God, like it says in your word, a city that's on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Let us be the light of the world. Let us be salty, Mugodad. Let us bear good fruit, Mugodad, that people can judge us, Mugodad, not by, Father God, of us, Mugodil, but by your standard, Mugodad, because we are bearing fruit by your Holy Spirit, Mugodil. And I pray that I bring you glory, honor, and praise, Mugodad. I pray, Father, I thank you for this course, Mugodil. I pray in Jesus' name, Deva, that whoever is listening, Mugodil, that this word, Father God, Deva, will be received, Father God, that will be falling on good soil, Mugodil, that will be planted a seed, Mugodil, to grow, Father God, Deva, to let it grow in our lives and let us go out and bear good fruit, Mugodil, for your glory, Mugodil. I pray for all these lists, Mugodil, Deva, that we bring before you, Mugodil. Every week, the boys bring this before you, Mugodil, and we ask in the name of Jesus that you would answer them according to your perfect yes, Mugodil, Deva. Do, Father God, miracles, Mugodil. Mugodad, bring Father God of happiness to families that's waiting for you, Mugodad of I've seen you do it, Mugodil. Bring Sastimos, Father God, Antro Sastimos, pray, Nasfare, Mugodad. Let the kids, Father God, speak, Mugodad. Make them do, make them make them.
them a ton that they hey mama but make them a ton how great and wonderful and how glorious you are Mugodan, give us father god about beautiful testimonies Mugodel. let us receive father god testimonies to build up our faith Mugodan, knowing that you're a god who cares for his people who loves for his people and who does miracles for his people we thank you father god we thank you for this course and i pray father god that you bless the boys with a new course father god that's led by your holy spirit in jesus name we pray amen amen avini uh, deacon donnie god bless you guys and i want to uh uh thank you on this program i didn't have a chance to thank you when we was there in new york thank you guys so much for showing us hospitality when we was at the men's retreat i can speak on behalf of christopher on behalf of whitey uh you guys never left us you guys were always there for us god bless you we love you guys uh and that being said Good night and God bless. Well, hold on, hold on, oh, hold wait, on. Wait, we wait. want to encourage the listener to listen to Fresh Mercy podcast. Ah, uh, come on now, gentlemen, <laughs> devoted and to uh, the, the scripture, to devoted Amen. to prayer, to uh, devoted to encourage uh, believers to pick up the word of God and to read and to grow in God. In Jesus' name, continue. Got my cash and, um, up. And got and my cash up, so he can plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and before we go, I know uh, we. I don't want to go too long, but I want to say this. It was an absolute pleasure that you guys yes. came and were a part of the men's retreat. Love you guys. We loved you guys being there, worshiping the Lord with you guys. Uh, Joshua coming up, giving the testimony was so powerful. Lord God. Pastor Ronnie That's coming glory. up on the second day, opening up and giving us that word of encouragement was, I'll never forget that time. We love you guys so much. We thank God for the Kingdom of God Ministries, for Pastor Rooney, Pastor Ronnie, Miami Church. Hopefully we will see you guys soon. Yes. Hopefully there's people still listening. Good night, guys. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Praise the Lord and praise God. Thank you for listening to this episode of Seeking the Kingdom. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Friday and every Saturday morning. Please continue to be a part of what God is doing at Kingdom of God Ministry in Miami, Florida. We kindly ask that you share this episode, describe and follow us. It would help the show to reach other people that we may further the kingdom of God. We also ask that you keep us at the church in your daily prayers. God bless.